Hello friends, uh, welcome back. So in this video, I will give a walkthrough about the execution process about uh, for the REST API request, like from where it started and how, what are the functions, how the WP REST server class will manage this request, how the WP REST request uh, a class object will create it to store the information about the um, API request, how the REST response will be, uh, uh, class will be used. Uh, to to send the response and how this register this route endpoints will be identified based on the rest api requests and etc and we will also talk about uh, like the filters and actions will be executed in between the, that process okay so as per the last video this rest api loaded function will execute it uh, on the pass request section okay so if the rest route we are finding then uh, we will get that rest route so uh, in the race route, either we will have a slash, or which is the base of that uh, for the WP JSON uh, base race API or URL, or if we are executing or requesting the post route, like for WP slash V2 slash post, then we will have that route information into the race route. Okay. So after defining the constant, uh, for so this rest gate server method will be executed. And as we seen in the last video, this uh, this function will return the server rest server class object okay and here the rest api init action have been executed on a do action so we will use this action to register our callback function and to add a custom uh, race route okay so we will use this uh, and but about registering the custom race route we will uh, we will uh, talk about in the upcoming videos okay but we will use this rest api init uh, action for that so this server uh, sorry this function will return the wp rest server uh, uh, object okay and then it will check whether the rest route is been emptied or not if it's uh, and it will just remove the trailing slash it okay and it will check whether it's empty then it will be a base route okay and if it's not then we have the uh, re specific request to race route so for example if i simply uh, ex uh echo die do here uh route okay and if i go here and send a request you can see this wp it's i think not visible but here you can see the route okay because it's not a base route and if we remove this one and send a request then it will be a slash which will be a base route okay so it will just serve this wp json base uh, okay so let me just go ahead here and we have seen this wp v2 post route okay so this route uh, will be uh, uh, so this route will pass to the serve request of the this is the serve request method for the our wp race server class okay so if you go to the serve request here uh, we are it's just checking whether current user is exist or not whether it's logged in or not um, then it apply the filter whether json p we have to enable the json p or not for the old browsers compatibility so that you can do by default it's a uh, enable so if you want to disable then you can use this filter okay um, then uh, it will just send the headers and few other things about link and everything so if you go here send it here in the headers you can check the link okay so this is the link which will be passed for the next uh, so this link will you this header will use to for the pagination purpose and like what is the next request would be for after this current request so from the link we can we can identify that okay and so a couple of content type header x robot tag and everything will be added it here so you can see the x robot tags no index okay and the content type content type you can see here it's a application slash json okay so that header will be set uh, for that but for the current request okay um then uh, it will go further you can also have uh, headers exposed header so if you want to expose these headers you can do so you uh, either you can filter and you can also maybe add custom headers if you want to okay for the cr uh, cross origin request okay uh, for that so that you can do so you can also filter whether you want to add or not okay 
and then uh, there are these are the uh, headers which need to be added okay and you can also add that filter at the uh, rest allow crs header filter the list of request headers that are allowed for a rest api cur request okay so those headers will be added and send it okay and here you can have a no cache headers if you want to provide and whether it's user is logged in or not so these are a the couple of headers you can or the filters you can use to modify the like the headers where uh, headers date content right um then uh, the filter whether the rest api is enabled or not so this is the deprecated filter it's been deprecated in the 4.7 point version okay so instead of uh, disabling the rest api uh, using this filter to disable the rest api you can use this rest authentication error filter to restrict the access to top the rest api so for example you don't want to allow even the read access or the get methods for the rest api request for for other from for other users for other sites or services then you can do that using the uh, this authentication errors okay um, but this filter is still there but we we should not use this filter now because it will throw a deprecation uh deprecation warning and deprecated means it can be removed in in the future versions okay um then uh, then it will create a wp race request class object using the method whatever the method we have passed which could which should be a get method in our case right now and the part so here part will be our uh, part info you can check it here so from that it will create a new request uh, class okay and this uh, and this class object we we will use to set our query parents which is will be a get uh, using the query string so it will give it will be get from the get method um, then the set body params if it's any if it's passed any other payload or the data through the post method then that can be said and uh, then file params if there are any files being uploaded or not using the file input okay and then they set the headers and set the body for get the raw data okay so this uh, information will be set into the our uh, race request class object okay um then you here we have also like in the first video we have talked about the underscore method to override the http method right uh so if it's set then they will set it set that method it here and override this header as well okay here now it's important is to check the authentication so here it will check the authentication and if it's this func method return the the wp error object class class object then it won't serve the request it will simply throw the error message that okay it's not um, like uh, you are not you are not like not you are not an authorized user okay to access that request so if you go to the check authentication request this uh, fun this function will uh, apply this filter raise authentication errors okay uh, nothing this function won't do uh, nothing else only just applying the filter and this filter we will use to check whether the current user have permission for this uh, uh, given rest api request or not so for example let's say if you want to disable it uh, the uh, even the reading reading of the data through the rest api request we can simply pass the value here so if i modify like if i go click here and uh, go to the here our file and simply if i add a filter here and uh, simply i will use the wordpress function uh, return false here okay so this filter will be added so if i go here and send a request in the preview uh, there might be some serious authentication errors filter i have added and it okay we have to pass null okay sorry not a null it's a object so i will simply create uh, and return a new wp error okay and it should have some messages but let's see what is now you can see undefined error index so we have to add uh, some object or um, a message or something here so here we have to add a code and a message so let me just add 
event access and then message could be you are not you are not allowed something like this very simple message right now for photo demo purpose okay and if we go here now you can see the code prevent access message you are not allowed and data it's now so this way we can prevent the rest api access okay so we can simply send this one okay um so um yeah um so you we can use this uh filter and this filter will all uh, will used uh with uh, used by the other authentic if you want to perf implement authentication like uh oauth or if you want to use the application password or the J json web tokens or the basic authentication all that mechanism uh, implementations we for that we, we we need to use this filter okay to to set either return true or the wpa object for authentication error okay uh, else default is null and like authentication method wasn't used here just for like uh, for knowing purpose only okay so this filter is very helpful for us okay for the to for the authentication and to disable the rest api request if we want to okay um now go back uh let me have problem okay now okay so if assuming that uh, this is there is no uh, result or problem then we can simply dispatch so we can call this dispatch method uh, with the request class object okay and this means the dispatch means uh, that uh, it will dispatch uh, our rest api request basically okay so here you can have a short circuit i mean you can you can uh, what i can say instead of executing the default uh, functions or callback function to prepare the response for the given rest api request you can use this filter to do that and if you return the non empty result or the any other data then it will simply uh, return the result that means it won't be executed the default wordpress core uh, rest route endpoints callback functions to prepare the response okay because we as a developer we have used this uh, filter to send uh, that response data so you can just filter the pre-calculated result of the rest api dispatch request so it's like hijacking we are hijacking that re request okay so this is very helpful to know just in some cases if we, we need to hijack then we can use this one rest pre, pre, pre dispatch okay and if it's not then it will check we uh, call this function match request to handler so it will just check whether the current race route has been registered or not because uh, we don't have the you know wordpress do not know all the race routes uh, default or the custom race routes uh, all the time like we like using the register race out method we are registering it and before executing this function or executing this race request request all the race routes should be uh, registered before that okay so uh this function will be used so it will just simply check whether what is the method and get the route okay and then it will take a namespace uh namespaces and here is the our uh regex, uh regex expression will be done so it will loop through all the registered routes okay and then their handlers and then you can go through it so if you here this is the get routes method so this will simply uh return all the routes so you can have a rest endpoints as well so if you want to filter then you can do um and then it will simply do a uh, prepare the routes and methods and everything and it will simply return it okay so if we go through here sorry uh here and if i simply print the routes here dollar routes and i may have to uh disable this one otherwise it will give an error okay and if you go here and send a response uh so anyway it's a 5 mb one so it's very large data so uh we have many things here so it will be a problematic so i will what i will simply do i will simply do a zero 
on the index and see what it's giving here oh it's 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 stuck now <laughs> okay uh there is no zero index here but um it's not that we will simply let me run this in the browser here still yeah this is the array like in uh first is the namespace and then all in the zero index you will see all the endpoints and everything okay and their callback function like to um callback functions for the and different different endpoints and everything okay so you can go through this like later on but uh, this is the like how the all the routes have been stored in the like written by the server class and then it will match through it will loop through uh, the all the routes and then it, they will match with the current route and if it's matched okay um then they will simply return and check the callback functions and everything whether it's it will check whether it's callable or not it will set the parameters attributes and everything based on the arguments and the handler okay because it's also expecting um then same uh, and, and then it will return the route and the handler handler what 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 is the handler for that like handler means uh, the callback function which will perform the or send the response based on the identifying the request recipe request and if it's not then it will simply return the uh wp error if the route has been not found so if i did it here something one two three four then you can see that there is no route no route was found matching the url and request method so from here it will be written okay so this method have been used okay uh, and uh, once we have that matched the route okay and if it's not a wp error um, then it will simply the separate the route and handler and then it will check whether the handler has a callback valid callback or not whether it's callable callback or not if it's not then it will simply return the wp error and uh, it will check whether it has valid parameter sanitize parameters and everything so we will go we will see about this uh, validation of the parameters and the sanitization of the parameters when we register a custom race route okay Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Jai WordPress.